Welcome back on to some national news. Now, Congress MP Jagan Mohan Reddy was taken into preventive custody today after clashes between those for and against his proposed yatra in Warangal. He was later released on personal bond, but angry supporters had already set two quarters of the Padmavati Express on fire at Tirupati station in protest against the arrest. Well, the nation too woke up to a disaster this morning. At least 71 passengers were killed and 200 injured when 13 coaches of Mumbai-bound Gyaneshwari Express derailed in West Midinapur district early today. Five of these coaches were also hit by a speeding goods train. The incident occurred at 1.30 a.m. While Home Minister P. Chidambaram said that train derailment appears to be a case of sabotage, Railway Minister Mamta Banerjee said the blast was a calculated attack and was the handiwork of the Maoists. Meanwhile, the West Bengal police have said that Maoist-backed organization People's Committee Against Police Atrocities has claimed responsibility for the accident. The Union Railway Minister pointed out that railway tracks crisscrossing the country have become a soft target for militants. Prime Minister Manmohan Singh has expressed grief over the loss of lives. Whatever you have received the information, prime of his information, that administration and the police said that it is a bomb blast case because they have seen the things. Morning the dog squad also came and this is TNT or this uh, gelatin case case they have said. It is a railway, RPA people and uh, GM of Southeastern Railway, they are all saying I have received the message from them and from administration also. And survivors are still shaken by that blast and some still hope for the return of their loved ones. <laughs> उसके बाद ट्रेन रुक गया 10 15 सेकंड के बाद दूसरा ट्रेन आके इसके धक्का लगा तभी ऐसा दुर्घटना हुआ वेल हिटिंग द सेंटर द सिविलियंस वंस अगेन द टारगेट अ डिसअपॉइंटिंग डे फॉर इंडियन फैंस एज वेल एज द मेन इन ब्लू लूज देयर इन ओपनिंग एनकाउंटर अगेंस्ट द होस्ट जिम्बाब्वे सिंपली पुट द स्ट्रांगर टीम हैज इमर्ज्ड एज द विनर Zimbabwe went on to win the match with six wickets in hand and with ten balls to spare. It was a clinical effort with the entire top order firing for the hosts. Earlier it was the brilliant effort of Rohit Sharma which took India to a challenging total of 285. In fact, it was Rohit Sharma's maiden ODI century that helped India build a strong total. India's loss can be attributed to the early loss of three quick wickets. Also, poor running between the wickets cost India dearly as openers Murali Vijay and Virat Kohli were run out in quick succession. India's bowling was also not up to the mark. Almost all of them got hammered around the field. India will now face Sri Lanka in their second match, which is scheduled to take place on Sunday. In news from the world of basketball, uh, officials of the Tamil Nadu Basketball Association say they are taking urgent steps to revive the game in the state by 2011. The move comes amid a shortage of talent in the state. Our sports reporter Sudarshan sent us this. In the past few years, the popularity and the standard of basketball in Tamil Nadu slipped to its lowest level. Tamil Nadu's Basketball Association has blamed this on the lack of talented and dedicated players. The situation is so bad that the teams borrow players from the other states to take part in tournaments. Product coming up in Tamil Nadu because there is no youngsters being concentrated for all these years. That is why we don't have a definite team like, see we are borrowing now players from outside the state. It never happened in Tamil Nadu 10 years back. But now if you take all professional teams, they want the players from outside the state. Even the professional engineering colleges, now they are borrowing players from other states. It's a very bad set of affairs, which we feel very bad. In a desperate effort to save basketball in the state, Tamil Nadu Basketball Association's new agenda has set its focus on children between ages 12 and 19. They are to be trained over the next two years to form the state's team of the future. We have already identified some of the districts where in rural, like in Tanjavur near Thiruvayaru, we have identified a school wherein they have only a mud court. 
we have taken initiative. I, we told them that we will make it as a cemented court. Like this, in each district, we have already taken initiative. The process is going on. Maybe it may take a year or two, but to complete all the districts, they will have the Pakka cemented court. Each district, they will have a court. If the latest efforts by the Tamil Nadu Basketball Association becomes a reality, it will help the players take up basketball as a career and also represent the country in international tournaments. NBA tournaments are a hit with youngsters of Tamil Nadu and many of them aspire to become like its star players. Uh, I've been playing basketball for about two or three years now and uh, my, uh, I would like to play for the school and then I would like to upgrade myself to the state level. I, I used to watch the NBA and uh, I have many favourite players. One of them may be Michael Jordan. To take basketball to every corner of the state, Tamil Nadu Basketball Association is holding talks with the government to depute coaches and acquire land in the villages to set up basketball courts. In Chennai with reporter Sudarshan, camera person Prabhu, this is Srikant for NDTV Hindu. Well, the weekend's here, which means it's movie time and time to hustle to that nearest theatre. Our entertainment reporter Lalit Jude reviews Surya's latest Singam, Prince of Persia and some of the other films that have released today. Have you wondered how you could have found such a treasure? The gods have a plan for you, a destiny. Prince of Persia is an adventure film directed by Mike Newell. It is based on a video game which goes by the same name. The special effects and stunts is a sure summer treat for the audience. Singatha photo la patrpa, cinema la patrpa, TV la patrpa, yeah, kundla gula patrpa. Kambirama kaatla narandu patrkiya. Surya plays cop in his 25th film, Singam. He fights to smash a smuggling ring that is led by Prakash Raj. There's Anushka who plays Surya's love interest in the film directed by Hari. Devi Shri Prasad has composed the tunes which are a hit with the youth. Katra the Kalava is a comedy film. Actor Krishna, the brother of director Vishnu Vardhan, is a troublesome bank employee and Vijay Lakshmi plays air hostess and lover of Krishna. Director Balaji Devi Prasad says the film will be well received by audiences in all categories. That's the film treat lined up this weekend as the audience and filmmakers wait to see if their expectations would be met. In Chennai with Lalit Jude, Minal Shah, NDTV Hindu. And finally, there was some great moving and grooving at the Indian Hip Hop Championship held by the Choreo Culture Dance School in Chennai today. We almost caught our reporter Zoya Thomas getting jiggy with it. I'm here at MCT School's auditorium to see what movements today's dancers have for us. And in the meantime, I'm going to go and learn, try picking up a few steps. <laughs> definitely been an exceptional performance by all the Chennai teams here today and while I tried to learn a few steps I couldn't so I have with me over here a team that is going to show us some special moves with camera person Lucas Zoya Thomas for NDTV Hindu well we won't uh, let Zoya escape that soon we might just ask her to show us a new move the next time that's all the news we have tonight from all of us here. Thanks so much for watching. Good night.